how I got to Discovery. Uh, I had a friend invite me actually to a worship night. I was kind of jumping around trying to figure out what church would be for me because I didn't have a home church at the time. I was just, I was a relatively new Christian, new believer. And I was like, okay, I gotta find a church. I know I need to find a spiritual family. And so I was kind of going around and she had invited me, my friend had invited me to a worship night and I didn't know what a worship night was. Um, so, but she said that it was like, it was, you know, the presence of God was there. And I mean, I was like, I want to be there. <laughs> so I went and I attended my first worship night. And I mean, from the very beginning, I'd never seen anything like that. Like I remember opening my eyes during worship and like looking at all the people worship, like actually worshiping. And I think that was something that really like impacted me and like made me feel like this is, this is where I want to like continue to pursue maybe finding my home church. I was just like an attender. I wasn't really taking any next steps to get plugged into community. Their small group season had just started and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna, Sundays are good for me. I think I was at a point in my, my walk with God where I was like, this is enough. And I wasn't really challenging myself because I knew that I was in a season where I was gonna leave for college. I was getting ready to leave to attend Cal Poly University in San Luis Obispo. And so in my mind, I was like, I don't really see the point of like finding community right now because I'm just gonna end up leaving. And I went for college, I moved in and um, I was like, you know what, well maybe I can make it work and come back on Sundays because I really like Sundays, that's all I had done. And so I was like, I'm gonna keep coming on Sundays. I mean, it's only a two hour drive. And that was like my routine. I think it worked for me. I felt like I was getting filled. Um, I was, you know, getting a little bit of community. I had met some of my friends from just attending some services. And then from there, winter break, when I came back from college, I was here for like about a month and a half. That's when I really decided to be like, you know what? I'm coming back every weekend. Might as well make the most out of this winter break. And I joined a young adult women's small group. That's the thing that I would say has been the most like impactful thing about small groups is that some of the most impactful, the closest friendships that I have now have all came either from a small group um, or from serving on a team with somebody else. And I think that that was definitely something I didn't expect. I, I couldn't say that if I stayed at Slow, I would find something like Discovery, you know, find something like the anointing that was over that church or the, the, the community aspect of it. You know, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't say confidently say, you know, I'm gonna find that here. I just kind of came to a point where I had to with everything that I had like considered, you know, coming back, making those trips back and forth. I think I just, God brought me to a point in where I had to really make a decision on whether or not I was gonna, you know, stay at Slow, finish my, my four years there and then, you know, see, you know, what was, what, what I was gonna do with my life or if I was gonna make that leap of faith and really go all in and where I knew God was telling me to go. And I think that in that moment, I got a little bit discouraged. I was like, man, like it's not gonna work. You know, I, I can't make it work and I can't continue to drive back and forth for two years, you know, uh, wanting to make both things work. And so I think that in that moment, I knew that what God was tugging in my heart was go all in with me, you know? And I think that that was something that, um, I think to this day, sometimes I look back and I'm like, wow, I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe that um, I made a decision like that, but I think with all the favor and the fruit and the blessings that have came from that decision. It's just been amazing to see that at one point, what I felt was gonna be the hardest decision of my life. God changed it and he's shown so much faithfulness through that, yes. If you feel like the church is there for people that have it all together, <laughs> I mean, it, it's not. God, Jesus says like, I came here for people that are broken, for people that are in need and for people that need saving. And so if you are in need of saving, that is why you should be finding a place where you can know about Jesus, where you can get connected, where you can be, like come alongside people that are gonna root, root for you, walk with you, and, and get you to a place where you can be able to not just see the church through a right perspective, but be able to see Jesus right. And that's Discovery Church.